Good morning guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Today, um, I thought I would just switch the camera on as I um, do the inside page, another inside page for my day book. Um, so you know I've been made this sort of no so quick day book for myself and as it's now I think the 28th of October I thought I'd probably best make a start doing the October um, pages so in the last video you joined me making this um, the pockets on the um, inside cover and doing the no sew sort of uh, collage using the lace um, which I'm really pleased with and um, just before I start actually working in the um, October, putting the October spread together, um, I thought I would sh uh, turn the camera on and share with you as I um, do the the warmer colours uh, to complement this graphic 45 paper um, for the October, month of October. So I'm going to just use, because I'm trying to do quickly with no sewing, use my Fabri-Tac again, and um, because it's going to be able to, I'll be able to use it with the lace and the fabric without having to worry about it coming apart. I've got these faux leaves that I picked up a while ago from the works, and this vintage fabric that I've been using a lot of, um, that I picked up um, in, in the charity shop, and... Um, a little while ago so that's what I want to do on this side um, I'm going to also just before I start um, ink this just to get the color down a little bit and I'm going to use two of these distress inks from Tim Holtz this is the rusty hinge and the old paper so I'm going to do that first and um, I might it depends on the time if I have time I might actually do a little uh, flip through with this video as um, somebody did ask for me to, if I could do a flip through of the pages before I actually put them, start doing things with them. Um, so, as you can see, I'm just using, I'm so pleased that I found these again, my little dabber here. I'll pop it on the sponge and I'm just going to, oh, it's a little frame, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Just going to take this colour down a little bit. Right up, up to the edge. And the background there, I don't know if I... Might need to... Let me see. Let's just pop a little something under here just to make sure I don't get any of the... Of that colouring on the cool colours below. So this is just to provide a just take that colour down. I probably there you go, can you still see? No. I'm trying to do it round the tripod. Oh, the excitement of trying to film. It's all a learning curve though, guys, all a learning curve. Um, so, that's taking the colour down a little bit. And then all I wanted to do with this is, um, I might go over... I'm going to lay down the fabric right in the corner. So this is what I had in my mind anyway. I lay down the fabric here. I just think it's beautiful. I just love those warm colours. I'm just going to fabric tack that down. If I'm still using the, the same bottle as before. Just on the last little drips to be fair. Last little drips of that. Oh, I've got enough to be going on with. And as you know, I'm quite liberal with my glue, so um, I shall do that for the fabric. Now I'm just going to lay down, lay that down like that. I've 
just um just to say remember the last video actually shall I have a little page bit page showing uh, maybe not the last video I did ended up being 25 minutes and it took an absolute age thankfully to um to upload it weren't going very far so it was all right yesterday just let's put that there because then what I wanted to do was I picked this little um oh it's like a lace arrangement thing crochet lace arrangement thing I picked it up from the charity shop and I've taken it to bits I've taken it to bits because I wanted to I just like that that open bit there I didn't know about so kind of like this what do you think should I put the leaves underneath I think I might put a leaf underneath like that so that you can so that we can see um, I would really like to see the lace and the leaf underneath it uh, actually maybe oh it's digestic already perhaps a bit more contrast there what do you think guys think and then yes I need more in the way of the I want you one of each color no I'm going to kind of put that like that Yeah, I think that's how we're going to go. Or do I do it? Yeah, let's do that. Do I pop that underneath like so? Don't mind a little bit sticking out. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. So that above, that below, and then that above. That I might do. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. So what we decided again, um, let's kind of pop that down so I've got it down in that situ uh, position first, if I can. And then I'm going to just go around here and, yeah, come on, don't fail me. Might just about have enough to the end of this project before I have to bite the bullet and buy another bottle. But you know, it's lasted well. I've just been finishing off a vintage style travel -y type journal, which we'll be seeing soon, and I've used it on that. Oh, and then. Let's pop this down over. Oh, it's a bit of a, a glue overload, isn't it, guys, really? But, you know, it is what it is. And thankfully, this is just mine. So, so it doesn't really matter. 8.47 for the timing on that. Just keeping an eye. I might just do this, guys, and then I may well just. I hope to have that at the top or down. That looks a bit nicer, but then it looks a bit. What do you think? Underneath? Did we? I can't remember if we said underneath or on top. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, that's definitely going at the top, I think, and then we'll. Yeah. I might just try and conserve a bit of glue by that, that way. There you go. And then let's pop that kind of just a little bit offset like that. Just a bit offset like that. I love it. I love it. I love it. And usually I what I would have done is um sewn all this onto a bit of card and then 
glued the card down but using this I can just pop it straight onto the page which when you're trying to save a bit of time is quite useful to do so I don't know guys if I should just do that um, we'll do that uh, or should I do that and then I could go with this in some brown couldn't I or do I do it down there like so is it a little bit contrived well I suppose it's a bit contrived to be fair on that but yeah I think do you know what I kind of like that um, yeah do you know what I do prefer that I think and then I you can see more of the place under here and then the fabric behind and then I may just really yeah I'm going to commit myself you never know, it might be different again. By the time I get this camera on again, and you see in the next stage, it might be different again, guys. That's just... Well, that's the fun, isn't it, though? As I keep saying, it's mine, so... I don't... Just going to do this and then I'm going to put that like that. There you go. So I shall tiny bit here. That's it. That's done. That's done. That is done. And what I'll do is um Uh, Hobbycraft, I think that's where I've got these distress inks, but you can get them anywhere. I will pop a link if I can figure out how to do it. <laughs> oh, I'll pop a link down below just to say um, to the um, Amazon store where I picked this up. If you guys um, would like to try some and are struggling to find it like as I did. It took me ages, to be fair. Um, so that's that. How are we doing? I just shall I try? I was gonna go a bit of brown, but let's see. Let's see if I should do a little bit of this on there. Let's have a look and see what it looks like on here. Or should I? I think guys I might just have to wait for the glue to dry and then I'll add some more, I'll do some more inking um, around the lace. So um, you'll probably see that on the next video um, when I do the flip through. Um, or maybe not. You'll see it on, a, on a, a video after that. So that's my start of my um, October sort of introductory autumn flip. So I've got that there. As you can see, as you so as you go into the as we go into me journal from the cool colours, the idea was to go from the cool colours to a cool introduction with my little bits and pieces and then to go into my autumn spread I have like this um, little spread here so I hope you've enjoyed it guys um, I've enjoyed doing it I may, what as I say, just do a couple of extra bits just here just with the inking things down so when you see this again it might be a little slightly different with the inking but that's it I shall come back anon with a flip through of the rest of these before I start working on them. Take care. Thanks for joining on my journey. Bye. Bye.